my youtube channel with another redstone build today's redstone build is called no wait 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 i shouldn't reveal the name at first today we are having a very special topic you must have already guessed it's a two it's it may be a two by two flush piston door as there you can already can see a lot of redstone Yes. Yeah, so actually, when what happens? It's actually two by two flush hipster door or a flush piston door where all of the stone is just underground or it or this a very tiny two by two flush hipster door. All of the stone is under the ground, extremely tiny, extremely quick, extremely fast. It's an uncomparable. Stone build like you cannot compare, you cannot find any other good two by two first person door as smaller as this. As you can see, I was not faking, it's actually a real two by two flush. What happens with normal two by two flush is that we can actually have the pistons visible, but now we don't have the pistons visible. Guess how? Using slime blocks. But the only negative point is that it looks very bad from the behind. As you can see, every single mess of the redstone contraption of this redstone repeater, this piston, this line block, everything is just actually visible from here. And it can also just fall down, that's why it's a negative side on the back. But the positive side is that it's extremely fast and compact. It's even compact than the normal ones. And due to we are using slime blocks, the piston is just also pushed down with the slime block. By using a torch here, you can actually like have it without a, re without a lever and just when you want it, you can just place a lever and flick it. Suppose there's a floor and your friend in multiplayer just entered your house to find your diamonds and they will never find it if you just hide it in there. For this the redstone is actually considerably very smaller and extremely perfect fast quick small. I never think that someone can design a pretty good design like this. I actually designed it. I designed it myself last night. But there were a lot of problems designing this first how will i make make it flush if i'm using slime blocks and it's if it's a hipster door i thought of using a piston along with the slime block which will be pushed upwards and come downwards but then we have another problem the problem is that we want this piston the only problem is that we want this We want this piston to activate at the end of everything or it will activate at the last but also deactivate at the beginning of everything or it will deactivate the first and activate at the last. So yeah, the activate at the last was very easy. Just I had to use a repeater on 3 tech. But how would I deactivate it fast? With a torch. With a torch so that it actually divides the signal so that there is no more power there and it can retract it and can set it on the sticky pistons face and so that the double piston extender can take it down along with the piston itself it actually seemed a pretty easy build but actually it was very hard to assemble
and as you can see it's, it's extremely fast i have i have a 2x2 yep door designed by i don't know who was it designed by but i actually find found the design on youtuber bowtie man's uh, youtube account i'll i'll just show you wait this is actually my redstone testing world i don't test anything on a super flat world this was that just touched my eye as as there are tons of contraption in this world my game just continuously lags yeah i found this 2 by 2 jeb door on on the youtube account the bow tie man this actually pretty perfect one But would you consider a yep door like this? Which actually uses observers like this. Well you may. It's not that bad. But due to the visible pistons I kind of don't like it. Yeah, my game sometimes just freezes due to the lag. I actually like this build pretty much because actually yeah it's a pretty pretty, pretty expensive build as you need glazed terracotta or obsidian and slime blocks but this tiny dude this absolutely tiny I actually like this build a lot it's extremely fast And there is no visible piston other than slime block, so it actually looks a bit better than the Potai Man's design, I think. Well, I prefer this one if I had to build one. It's a pretty compact redstone, but the back is actually pretty ba bad looking. But on the Potai Man's design, there's actually pistons on the back. So yeah, always the up doors look back, bad from the back. Or you can just add a seamless 2x2 two two piston door on the back to look it a bit better if you can. With my design, with what is very good is that it's actually pretty simple. This uh, like in you don't even need a tutorial for this. This is a double piston extender hooked up to a single piston extender. Yeah, that's only it. That's it. Yeah, but there's a tricky part, like which I had solved here, which is just to activate it later and deactivate it quicker. So yeah, that's it's a bit complicated. With someone new to Redstone may not understand, but I had understand. I love hipster hipster doors. They are pretty. Like, like they look pretty neat and clean because as you don't have any redstone above or on the sides. There's also a negative side to this piston though. It just actually looks very bad from the behind. And yeah also um, a bit messy circuit. Like not very good looking circuits on the world. Yeah, but if I had to build one, I would just build this one. Can you see how quick is quick this is? I would just build this. this I, I seriously love this design. And the positive side is that the piston is hidden because it travels with the slime block. Yeah, so that's actually the contraption which which is just for today guys so actually please
please um uh, tell me in the comments that if you have liked the build or not please consider subscribing like like the video comment share with your friends well that's all i got for today so goodbye take care i hope you all stay fine